when Vladimir Putin was elected president of Russia in 2000, the Kremlin's hold over the media tightened. Putin was obsessed with what news agencies were saying about him, so much so that he took control of independent oligarch-owned channels, and now the Kremlin provides editors and producers guidance on what to cover and how. Right now, media outlets and social media networks in Moscow, in Russia, are banned from calling the war in Ukraine a war. Well, it appears in Australian politics, we have our very own form of censorship, and it's coming from those who operate the National Party's social media accounts. That's right. Ever since the disgraceful elevation last week of David Littleproud as leader of the National Party, the party has been in damage control, furiously deleting any pro-Barnaby Joyce and anti-Littleproud comments. Why? Is it because perhaps there was no justification for the change? After all, this vital point, the people who voted for the National Party on May 21 voted for Barnaby Joyce, not Little Proud as leader. They have been betrayed by the political assassins. You only have to look at yesterday's coalition front bench announcement to see what drove this decision. 11 of the 13 who voted for Little Proud got a Guernsey. They didn't vote for the left-wing Little Proud because of his pro-net zero stance or for his big ideas for regional Australia. He's got none. Now, they voted for him to get a promotion. Just another example of the Nationals putting party before those in the regions who voted for them. And McCormack being appointed Shadow Minister for International Development and the Pacific is something you couldn't make up after a long lunch. Mark my words, Little Proud has anchored the National Party into mediocrity and will risk its relevance, especially when he agrees with virtually all of Labor's climate change policies. Tony Abbott said on the show last week that the coalition only wins when it's a strong alternative to Labor. Little Proud should take note. But what about some of the comments that the Kremlin, oh, sorry, I mean the modern day National Party have been deleting? On Michelle Landry's Facebook page, a Little Proud sycophant she is, she posted the front page headline of him backing net zero, which prompted Kevin to say, what a disgraceful turn of events. How could the Nationals get rid of Barnaby Joyce? On the National Party of Australia's Facebook page, more comments which were wiped, including Heather's, it's nothing but little to be proud of, a big mistake. Barnaby worked so hard, we voted for him as the leader. Morgan then commented, you people have officially lost the plot. Thanks for pushing us more and more to the minor parties. Matthew said of the new leadership team, you won't be holding them to account with little proud in the top job. It'll be hard to tell the difference between him and Albo. One final point. You heard Senator Matt Canavan on the show tonight. He's on regularly. And why? Because he always has something to say which is critical for the future of our nation. No notes, just ideas which improve Australia. He was a very good Minister for Resources and Northern Australia, always talking sense. But because he isn't a little proud stooge, there's no place for him in the Shadow Ministry. As you heard him say, he wasn't offered, but nor would he have accepted. But there's a spot for McCormack. The National Party is in damage control and it's of their own making. I said it last week and I'll say it again. They will not be able to provide the political support in the bush that Peter Dutton deserves.